I'm a filmmaker, you're a filmmaker. Let's talk about it. This week, I want to talk about video essays online. Now I know what you're thinking. Ben, you make video essays. You have three or four on your channel right now. And I'm watching one of yours this very second. And you're right. However, I want to take this week to explain my thoughts on these videos. Not only other ones online, but my own as well. Don't get me wrong, I really like video essays. I just think there's a dangerous trap that a lot of them fall into. And it's a trap that I'm very careful about dodging when I'm making my videos. Something I've said many times before and will continue to say is that I do not believe filmmaking can be taught. Yes, you can be shown a close-up versus a wide shot, three-point lighting, or how to use audio equipment. But the on-set experience, the practice, and the rolling up your sleeves and doing it yourself cannot be taught. You have to start a project and jump in with both feet. To me, if I start a project and I feel comfortable, I know that I need to drop it. If what I'm working on doesn't excite me and make me scared about it working out or not, then I know I'm not going to grow from it. But that's beside the point. What's my actual problem with video essays? The trap I was talking about is that a lot of these videos fall into something that I'm going to call the filmmaking equation. When I'm watching a video essay, the second they cut to something like this, I exit the video. Filmmaking is not A plus B equals C. The answer to the question could be A plus B equals C, but A plus B could also equal 25 other letters. Filmmaking to me is a very nebulous and very abstract thing. I really don't like when videos pull out this filmmaking equation because it's the same problem I have with screenwriting books. When something is presented as the only way to do something, that's my issue. And that's not to say that the methods presented in these videos and books are wrong. It just means that they're not the singular right way to do things. The reason I open my video essays with, and like all these videos, these are just my opinions, is because I think it's important to make it known that I don't think I'm 100% right and that I can be swayed. It's what I think at the moment, and I want a discussion and mind-changing thoughts shared in the comments or with me on Twitter. I love video essays because they spark discussion and debate on film that may not have ever existed if the video wasn't published. I just try to take these videos with a grain of salt because I don't think they're definitive. Here's my closing thought. Essays, video or not, can be persuasive, and I want them to be. I want my opinions challenged and changed all the time. I just think it's important to make it known that you're coming from a certain perspective and that you know there's more than one right way to do things. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This has been a Runaway Brand production, and I'll see you guys next time.